It was big news when actor Dennis Quaid's infant twins were given a massive overdose of the blood thinner heparin and nearly died. Well, it's happened again, this time in Corpus Christi, Texas, to more than a dozen infants. Now an investigation is underway to determine if it caused the deaths of two of the babies. Keith and Kaylin Garcia each weighed about four pounds when they were born one month premature just 10 days ago. The twins were among at least 14 infants at this Corpus Christi hospital who've been given overdoses of the blood thinner heparin. Used to flush intravenous lines to prevent blood clots, too much of the drug can cause severe bleeding, even death. Generally, the way that you find out about heparin being too high is that you notice that when you do blood tests, or when you start IVs, uh, they continue to bleed at the, at the IV site. While hospital officials trace the overdoses to a mixing error at the hospital pharmacy, they're not linking the overdoses to the deaths of the Garcia twins. In a statement, the hospital's chief medical officer says, quote, at this time, no direct adverse effects of heparin have been identified in the infants that died or any other patients. The incident comes seven months after an overdose of heparin nearly killed actor Dennis Quaid's newborn twins. In May, Quaid told Congress about how his children were mistakenly given the wrong version of the drug because the labels on the 10-unit bottle and one that is 1,000 times stronger were virtually identical. Our twin survived and apparently with no damage to them, although we really don't know the, what the long-term effects may be. Joining us now from Corpus Christi, Texas, are Hector and Maggie Chapa, the grandparents of the twins, and Bob Patterson, attorney for the Garcia family. Good morning to you, Mr. and Mrs. Chapa. Please accept our condolences. Thank you. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you. This must be an unimaginably painful time for you. Hector, tell us why it's so important to you to speak out this morning. For the most part, we want to show and we, w we want people to be aware of what is going on. Um, it's, it was just a tragic loss of what we went through and, and what we're actually going through. It's, it's something that has to be done about it because it's, it's, it's not the right thing. What is not the right thing? What are you referring to when you say that? It's having to deal with the loss of, of our grandkids is one thing. But um, just it's it's difficult to even imagine uh, what we're actually going through. It's it's very difficult to even talk about it. Um, I, I just want resolution. I want to know what happened and why it even happened. Maggie, the, the hospital has not released the cause of Kaylin's death, but they say that Keith's was definitely not caused by the overdose of heparin. Do you accept that? Um. I can't say that I have or that I will because um, it really hasn't been uh, de been definite. Um, Did we they just, tell um, you immediately when the overdose, when they realized the overdose? Uh, no, no, I can't say they did. Um, how long uh, afterwards how, uh, did you find out? Well, when when uh, he passed away. We actually uh, were in in my daughter's uh, room, and we heard it through the media. All this about uh, heparin, and all, people were calling us, family, and we we're just wondering what you know what's going on. Bob Patterson, your attorney is with you. I'd like to ask you, Bob, what is your role here? How do you plan to help the family? Well, what we've done so far is simply ask a court to order the hospital to preserve all the evidence, the records, the samples, the heparin bottles, and so forth. And eventually we'll get a chance to have independent experts take a look at all of that. Bob Patterson, Hector, and Maggie Chapa, thank you very much for taking the time. Thanks, Maggie. Thank you.